What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Big Time Football Talk. So I just wanted to talk about Michigan's 52-17 to win over Rutgers. I was a little disappointed in the way they, you know, they played early on in that game. Um, but, uh, you know, when I went back and watched the game, though, I guess, you know, Rutgers did a good job of just making some plays. You know, a couple of the catches Michigan um, that they had over DJ Turner. DJ Turner was actually in really good position. Um, but I still thought Michigan looked a little flat in this game, but I was proud of the way they fought and battled back and uh, did a good job creating those interceptions. Um, Great job by Michael Barrett. Michael Barrett is uh, a guy that in 2020 really flashed in that opening game against Minnesota, and his play play and his playing time overall kind of, you know, tailed off, but great job making plays um, and getting coming down with those interceptions uh, one for a touchdown and then the freshman will johnson did a good job of stepping in for german green who was injured uh, because of what happened in the in the michigan state tunnel um, he did a great job will johnson uh, was a high big time recruit out of uh, the gross point area in michigan and uh, his play has been uh, it terrific when he's filled in uh, had a big hit in the Penn State game, and he looks rock solid in coverage as well. Michigan um, will play. I guess still got to play Nebraska, Illinois. Illinois um, got upset by Michigan State, but that's still a, a tough football team. They should beat Nebraska, I would believe. Um, you know, I, I think they're opening as 29-point favorites against Nebraska, uh, so that'll be interesting. Uh, to see how that game plays out. That's uh, in the big house this year. Last year had a tough time with them, but this uh, a Nebraska team that's really reeling um, this season and really, really struggling. But uh, I like that they made it. Michigan made an emphasis to get Andrell Anthony the ball in this game, uh, moved him into the slot early on. Uh, McCarthy did overthrow him on a deep ball, but it looked like he did kind of slow down. So wherever you want to, whoever you want to play, just blame on for that throw. But, uh, it's good that they are making an emphasis to get Andrell Anthony the ball because he's a super talented guy, uh, six foot two, true outside receiver, and then you know is showing the ability to you know play in the slot as well. So, but Michigan, you know, all the receivers look pretty good. Uh, Cornelius Johnson did have some drops. Ronnie Bell had a nice game, had a nice touchdown early in the second half. Uh, Blake Corum looked good. Donovan Edwards looked good as usual. Um, the offensive line, it looked like um, Keegan got hurt. Trevor Keegan, the offensive lineman, got hurt. Uh, so hopefully he's all right because they're already without Trent A. Jones. I'm not sure how much longer they'll be without him. Hopefully Nakai Hill Green they'll get back at some point this year, the linebacker. But uh, the way Michael Barrett's playing, um, you know, when he comes back, they'll be they'll or whether he comes back or not, it looks like they'll they'll be all right. If he comes back, that's a huge added bonus, um, not only for uh, what you know Hill brings to the table as far as his play wise, but for depth purposes as well. And yeah, the Michigan defense been so impressive. I mean, just seven points allowed to Michigan State. Really, Michigan State couldn't do anything in the second half, and uh, likewise uh, was the case uh, against Rutgers. Rutgers just you know couldn't really do anything in the second half, and. Uh, they, you know, they forced some turnovers, which is which was refreshing because that's something Michigan teams really haven't done a lot the past few years, especially under the Don Brown uh, regime. They did not force a lot of turnovers, sadly. So it's good to see them, um, you know, <clears throat> putting quarterback opposing quarterbacks in positions where they need to, uh, you know, force a throw and uh, credit them for coming down with the interceptions and creating tip passes. And he did it, and I thought. Michigan did a good job of getting pressure. Mike Morris had a sack in the game. It looks like they started um, Eoman, uh, or they started Oki, uh, the out, uh, rush outside linebacker. Um, you know, Michigan's defensive front looks really good, and the, just the second, the speed and the sec, athleticism in the secondary is is terrific. Rod Moore. Um, uh, Will Johnson, like I touched on, I thought in DJ Turner, I, I still love DJ Turner. Um, you know, the plays he gave up, he was right in position to make a play. And as a defensive back, um, you know, the defensive coordinator, that's about all you can ask for is just a guy in position to make a play on the football. DJ Turner really was. But, um, so yeah, I just wanted to, uh, Quick reaction of the game. Nice win for Michigan. Happy they pulled away in the second half. Um, the uh, you know the struggles in the first half were concerning, uh, but uh, 
making plays in the second half. You know, good defense, good all around. A lot of good things all around in the second half to, uh, you know, for them to pull away and win this football game 52 17 over Rutgers. Rutgers goes to four and five. Michigan moves to nine and oh in the year. And uh, it looks like they will move up in the rankings with uh, Tennessee going down and uh, Clemson going down as well. So we'll see where Michigan moves to. I would have them number three. Number one, I would have uh, Georgia. I've been saying this for a while. I think Georgia is still the best team in the country. I think Ohio State's right there at number two. And then I think Michigan's number three. Number four, um, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I would probably put LSU. I think, I don't know if they are the, the number four team in the nation as far as talent overall. But if you look at the way they're improving, the way Brian Kelly's coaching, I think they're very deserving and they're trending in the right direction. So I just wanted to touch on that. Thanks so so much for tuning in to this clip of Big Time Football Talk. Till next time, peace.